So I've been sending credit cards every single day for the past two years. I even have a series on YouTube called What's Happening in the Credit Card World, where I give you every single bit of credit card news every single Saturday. So I'd like to say that I'm a bit of an expert when it comes to credit cards, so this next statement is a bit of a hot take, but I want you guys to hear me out. The American Express Platinum Card sucks. That's right, I said it. Anthony, if you want to get inside the YouTube boxing ring, I'm ready, but my statement still stands. The American Express Platinum Card is over rated and it sucks and before i elaborate on that opinion i have to do the american express platinum card justice and explain what exactly you get with the american express platinum card if you already know everything about the platinum card and just want to get to the part of the video where i explain why it sucks i'll put a timestamp right here so that you can go watch that part However, I do want to say that you might learn something new, so I do encourage you to stay and watch. Oh, and I also made a Reddit post where I asked people why they got the Platinum card, and some of the answers are pretty interesting, so make sure to stick till the end. Alright, so the American Express Platinum card is American Express's most premium travel credit card. It's a $695 annual fee points back credit card that earns you 5x back on flights booked directly with airlines or through American Express Travel for up to $500,000 per year. 5X on prepaid hotels booked through amxtravel.com and then 1X on everything else. For statement credits, like I said earlier, it has over $1,500 worth of them. These statement credits are broken down as a $200 hotel credit, $240 digital entertainment credit, $155 Walmart Plus credit, $200 Uber Cash credit, $200 airline fee credit, $300 Equinox credit, $100 Saks Fifth Avenue credit, and a $189 Clear membership credit. With the Platinum Card, you get access to American Express's Global Lounge Network, which consists of the Priority Pass, which consists of over a thousand different lounges in over 130 different countries. The American Express Centurion Lounge Network, which consists of 40 plus lounges across the world and is the best airport lounge network in the world. Escape Lounges, Delta Sky Club when flying same day Delta flights, Plaza Premium, and Airspace. On top of this, it's got fee credit for global entry or TSA pre-check, access to the fine hotels plus resorts collection, the hotel collection, Marriott Bonvoy and Hilton Honors Gold status, no foreign transaction fees, premium car rental status, either with Avis Preferred, Hertz President Circle status, and or National Car Rental Emerald Club Executive status. And then all of these different protection perks. Did I just make your head spin for the last good minute while you quickly tried to digest everything that the Platinum card gives you? Yes, your head is spinning? Well, that's great because that's why it sucks. And I guarantee you that you won't even be using maybe a third of these benefits every single year. Before we continue this video, I just wanted to share some of the other products that Exeter has to offer. This is their aluminum card holder line, which comes in over 10 plus different colorways. The ones that I'm showcasing right here is their metallic gold, metallic silver, and their metallic rose gold colorways. If you're more of a fan of not losing your wallet in Apple, Exeter also carries wallets that specifically allow you to insert an Apple AirTag to the back of the either the Parliament wallet version or the aluminum card holder version so that you'll never lose your wallet again. They even have wallets in recycled leather materials for those of you out there that are more inclined with saving their environment or their most expensive wallet line called the Fortuna Parliament wallet for those of you out there with unique taste. And finally, ones like the Senate card holder that's similar to the aluminum ones but comes in leather instead or ones that come in carbon fiber. Did I mention that wallets aren't the only thing that Exta carries such as this beautiful Weekender duffel bag that I'm still dying to get my hands on or this laptop sleeve that is capable of storing your brand new 13 inch MacBook in. With Valentine's Day coming up, Exta definitely has a product out there that'll put a smile on your significant other. Make sure to use code ericgout at checkout or with the link down in descriptions down below to get an additional 5% off off of any sale on exter.com. Thank you to Exter for being a longtime sponsor of this YouTube channel. And with that, let's get right back into this video. All right, so we just explained everything that the American Express Platinum card gets you. And now we're gonna go back to the original point that I made at the beginning of this video and explain exactly why the American Express Platinum card sucks. Let's break it down step by step. First up, it's ways to earn options suck. For being touted as American Express's most premium travel credit card, it doesn't really earn you that many things in travel related purchases. 5x on flights and then 5x on hotels and that's basically it. Not even car rentals or other rideshare services or any other means of travel. Let's not beat around the bush here, there's definitely better options out there. 
Moving on, the American Express Platinum Card is a coupon book of different statement credits, which sucks. There's so many random statement credits that if I were to personally get this card, I definitely need a notebook to keep up with everything that it provides. On top of it, over half of these credits need me to do additional steps like signing up for a membership in order to fully use these specific credits. On top of that, over half of these credits come in as monthly credits instead of an annual one, so I guarantee that there'd be some months where I definitely miss out on them on using some of these credits or some months where I have to force myself to spend money on specific credits to use them, in turn spending money that I didn't particularly need to spend in the first place. On top of that, over half of these credits have weird read between the line descriptions, such as the hotel credit, which on the surface looks like a $200 hotel credit, but actually flipping that description around, you actually see that it's only applicable to AMX's fine hotel and resorts collection, which I wanna remind you is actually expensive. Same goes the $200 airline fee credit, where you can get $200 worth of things like check bags and in-flight refreshments, but it's not actually a travel credit. And you don't even have to get me started on the $300 annual Equinox credit because we really don't need to get into that. Moving on, let's talk about the additional benefits that the Platinum Card provides and is arguably one of the sole reasons why people usually get the Platinum Card in the first place, and that's the airport lounge access. But what if I told you that there's a ton of stories online right this second, ranting about how frustrating it is that Centurion lounges are always crowded. You got this guy talking about a 30 minute wait to sign up for a 45 minute queue to get into a Centurion lounge, or these people that literally take pictures of people literally waiting outside the lounge elevator like it's some three Michelin star gourmet restaurant. I mean, when American Express directly takes a page out of Planet Fitness business model, except instead of most people dropping out of the fitness school mid-January, most people that get the Platinum card tends to keep the Platinum card, thus causing a fire hazard situation in most Centurion lounges. I mean, Delta literally had to change their policies on who gets to go inside their own dedicated airport lounges this year. One thing, however, that I do like about the American Express Platinum card is that it gives gold statuses to Hilton Hotels and Marriott Bonvoy. But let's circle back and talk about the number one issue that I have with American Express and their Platinum credit card, the $695 annual fee, and the fact that most people who get this credit card don't need this credit card. If you're not in the demographic of spending a ton of money every single year or traveling constantly due to work or leisure, this isn't a credit card that you should be eyeing. If you're not someone who lives in a big city or uses rideshare apps on a pretty frequent basis, this isn't a credit card that you should be eyeing. If you're someone who just graduated college and you're looking for a brand new shiny credit card, this isn't a credit card that you should be eyeing. If the $695 annual fee literally burns a hole in your wallet every single year, this isn't a credit card that you should be eyeing. I can't tell you personally how much I think the Platinum credit card is overhyped and in the hands of people who aren't ready for it yet. I'd suggest getting a Capital One Venture X card first or the Chase Sapphire Preferred and working a couple years and then going back on this and deciding whether or not this credit card is good for you. I guarantee you that there are plenty of great options out there that will fit your lifestyle. And to wrap up this video, let's see what other Redditors had to say about the AMX Platinum credit card. I I would say if you don't travel regularly and take advantage of the travel benefits and lounge access, it's not really a call for you. Tough to justify the annual fee just using it like a coupon book for all the rewards, but those are just offsets for a large annual fee you pay up front. If you balk at the annual fee, then the card isn't for you. Simply as that, AMX's marketing does a great job considering everyone wants the platinum card, it's now a status symbol, lol. To figure out if you're the right demographic, do the following. Check your last couple of years of spending and see if applying for the AEP coupons would save you at least the AEP's annual fee. Preferably, they would save you at least 150% of the annual fee in exchange for the annoyance of having yet another card to keep track of. For those of you out there that are new to the channel, hi, my name is Eric. I generally talk about everything credit card related, but more recently, I've been making videos on broader financial topics, such as these videos right here. The main goal for this channel is to provide informational and meaningful financial related content that everybody everywhere can enjoy. So again, if you'd like to support that dream, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And with that, thank you for watching as always. Until next time, everybody, stay safe out there. Peace.